Hello, this is Excel for your parents. My name is Elizabeth. And in this episode, what we're going to be doing is looking at how to use slicers with our pivot table. Slicers are an awesome tool that can help us visually filter our pivot table data. And a lot of the times they're overlooked. We're also going to be looking at how to use timelines, which is a type of slicer using a date value. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, please follow me over to my computer. Hello, now that we're on the spreadsheet, uh, we have an active pivot table going. This pivot table is going off of a sales table data right here, where we have internet sales by country. We have sales amount, sales quantity. This is an international company where it's data we're working with. It's all fictitious data. But um, we've already established that we have a pivot table where we're looking at the quantity sold and the amount by year and by sales country. We can expand this table to see the products names that it's associated with within each country and with it that uh, what makes up that quantity and that amount. I'm gonna close that right here, but we wanna add some filters and some slicers. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room actually, because I like to put my slicers up here and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna select that area, right click, Press insert, gives me a little bit more room. As you can see, we did previously lock our uh, header over here and it continues down with it. So you don't need to redo that, that's nice. You click inside the pivot table. We're gonna go to pivot table analysis and we're gonna go to insert slicer. Now let's see a slicer I wanna insert is I wanna insert a currency name and sales country. Let's do that, so I'm gonna click okay and it automatically comes up It defaults to this lovely blue color. I'm gonna bring my slicers up here, format them how I want to. And I'm actually gonna, eh, I'm gonna get rid of a, two of these rows, no worries. So now, very simple thing, and look what you can do now. So now, if I just wanna view United States and the United Kingdom sales, boom, that's all I have. If I just wanna view Germany sales, all I've got. If I want to view the Germany sales that were done in US dollar, that's how simple it is. I can just click on these slicers to filter down my data however I want. As you can see, this button up here is a clear filter. So if I want to clear this filter here and clear this filter here, it brings me back to my original data. If I'm clicking in here and you filter down so many times you forgot exactly what you clicked on. So I clicked on here, filtered here, filtered here, and you just wanna go back to a clean slate. An easy way to do that is to click in your pivot table. You go on the home tab, you go to sort and filter, and you click clear. It'll just clear everything out for you. So you can start fresh or start new. But that's an easy way if you just wanna add slicers put them in there, you can slice and dice however you want. If you want to give these slicers some character and change their color around a little bit, I'm going to highlight both of them at the same time by pressing control. I'm going to go to the slicer panel right here. You can change your color and your slicer to whatever you want it to look like. If you want to do a custom slicer, you can also do that by going to new slicer style right here. One other type of slicer I want to talk about is if I go to the pivot table analysis, it's actually a timeline. So a timeline can be super helpful if you want to see your uh, date data visually. It will only let you put a date in this value. So let me do this. I'm going to select, select timeline. I'm going to select my ship date, press OK. Now here's what you can, here's the beauty with timelines, is you can, again, you can color it any way you want, but I can change this value from months to uh, years. So if I just wanna do 2011, there we go. Now I can slice by my date. Now alternatively, you can even put a slicer in for your date if you would like, um, that's an option as well. So this is a great way to filter by your dates. So if I wanna drag this across and I want everything excluding 2014, and there I go. If I just want 2014, and there I go. If I wanna look at individual quarters, months, days, I can even create multiple slicers that will filter down for me. So for instance, if I wanna do this one's a year, I control C, control V, I'm gonna copy and paste another one. And this one over here is by months. 
Now you can see with the area I have highlighted, but I can be more specific. I can just shoot January, February, March of 2014 right here. And this allows me having two date timelines allows me to be more specific with my dates. A uh, great way to use timelines. Uh, I don't see timelines being used a ton, but I think they're an awesome option in Excel and with the use of pivot tables. Thank you for joining me for my pivot table videos. I hope you enjoyed.